Good morning. Okay, no problem. Um, if I pop up the link straight away, then he can join in whenever he wants. Uh, where am I with that one? He's coming over. That's what I like to see. So what happened? Did Ian stream last night as well? I saw that one was titled CJ Ian. I also need to go into YouTube and clean up the mods. I did see something. Yeah, CJ Ian and CJ Moncon. So let's go in and tidy that one up. It's the wrong one. Oh, why can I not do it? Maybe it's only on the replays I can do it on then. Oh, because I'm still on my account. Go. Switch account. I think he jumps on. On the old stream or on this one. I sent him a message to say there was a new one. That one needs to be cleaned up. And that's it. We're back. And we should be rolling. So God knows how many days this is. It's something like six days now, is it? It's been going live. Seven days? 24 hours? I don't know. Something stupid. Don't be sorry, mate. I just needed to have a cup of tea and a fag first, and then more than that, you just keep it going. And that's the beauty with um, StreamYard. You can just do that, can't you? I had quite a good sleep last night, so I don't mind jumping on. Good to see you, mate. You too. Sorry, um, we had a plan just in case, though. Um, we knew Will's phone was low, and it, StreamYard's an update on their computer, or my phone, whatever, would kick one or both of us out. So Brain said, call me, and she'll restart it. Um, Lou and John um, listened through the conversation and stuff, so we... We had a plan, it's just, it didn't 
We didn't want anything bad to happen. Try to keep everything covered. They just, they have been doing a lot of hours, you know, and been right there for almost all, if not. Yeah. But, uh, oh, good. yeah. We'll keep it going this end. That's the least we can do. Well, and that's what I thought. And Will, Will being he had coins, he's like, well, I'll stay with you. And it's like, right on, brother. So me and Will figured we'd keep it going for as long as possible. Thank you, Warren. I really appreciate it. Hi, John. I know there's not many of us here, but I'm just going to tell you something here. This was posted on the Great British Pride Hunt at 11.30 last night. I would just like to share this with the rest of the team of Great British Coin Hunt. Two of our dear American friends have sent a message to me expressing their thanks to everyone for their friendship and support since they connected with us here in the UK. They have also made a point of telling me that both Ian and his dad are very much in their thoughts at this time. What lovely people we have on board over from the US and I would like to take this opportunity to send my very wish back to them from everyone on this side of the pond. Indeed, we are blessed to have him in the future. We've discovered some truly amazing individuals. So that was posted last night. So I just thought I'd share that. Who posted that, yeah. Warren? Mick. No, that's on the Facebook page. Oh. I, I talked to Mick yesterday, so. Well, chat, um, texted him. So. Yeah, it was Mick who posted that. Oh, okay. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs> so did Ian well, come on last night? Hi. Huh? Did Ian come on last night? Um. Yes, actually, he did. Yeah. And he, he, he brought me to tears. So. He's um, a good guy. And that takes a lot to yeah. bring you to tears. Silly. Yeah, absolutely. He, um, he, made, he made he made me an offer that will that took a lot of stress and weight off of my shoulders and will help my family in a big way. That's um, it it's in the video and it's on live uh, last night's live stream about a half hour into it so. Yeah, if you take the time to to look at it when you get a chance, you'll understand why I stayed and I I wasn't leaving. <laughs> no, I will. Well, so literally, I just woke up and had a cup of tea. And then well, I I know what time it is there. It's seven hours from me, so um, <laughs> seven twenty four a.m. I I got it. I know it's early. I know it's early, but. Brain, brain couldn't stay awake any longer. Louise told her to go to bed, and I was in full agreement. Um, just leave it open, and me and Will got it. We'll carry it as long as we can. Yeah. Will doesn't have to work today, so he says, "I got all night if I need to. I don't have to work tomorrow." So, yeah, get him back if he comes back. We'll get him up as well. Yeah, I and he he has an incredible coin collection. He really does. Awesome. That helps that he works in a coin shop as well. Yeah, <laughs> and well, he just that, he just started at the coin shop a, a little while back. So yeah, um, like in the last three months, four months. So yeah, um, and Will is a good guy. He really, really is. Yeah. Um, when uh, when we were in chat yesterday, um, Ron M was talking about he had a bunch of. Balboas from Pan Panama, and it's like the first thing I thought of is okay, I'll introduce him to Will. <laughs> Will, Will collects foreign coins. Oh, okay. I know. Um, he Will has a few Balboas, but um, I immediately I knew Will would be interested. And what Ron came in the chat right at the beginning, and by the time I got done telling Will about it, he was gone. So, um, I'll uh, 
I'll I'll pass on the message again today, and I'll 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 introduce him to Will. I'll get have him get a hold of Will or whatever. Um, so make yeah, Will, make Will's, stuff uh, happen. You can find him on Instagram. Yeah. 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 Ron's a good guy, Ron. Ron's a good guy. Yeah. Uh, I I wasn't trying to say anything derogatory. It's just he he was there, and before I before I could hook them up, um, he wasn't there. So, but you know, Will Will is interested in collecting uh, foreign coins, and him and Laugh to talk about how many coin foreign coins they have. <laughs> Laugh is somewhere in the 140 countries range, and Will's in the 80-ish range. Wow! So, yeah, yeah, because it's like for us, it's like we have more than uh, just one UK territory. You know, we got Jersey, we got Guernsey, we got the Falkland Islands, we've got Gibraltar. Uh, obviously, Scotland has got their own banknotes. Right. So they were classed as different countries. So the different. Um, um, well, they are the same, but they're they're minted differently. Yeah. Uh, uh, <coughs> oh, look at this. Well, Louise just messaged that Ron M, Ron M is a good guy and he's a laugh. And like I said, I, w I wasn't trying to dog him. I was just saying I was there to hook them up and and they just missed each other for whatever reason. So I'm sure that it can happen again. Uh, laugh uh, has a lot of coins and very knowledgeable. Right on. See, and, and, um, him and Will, no silly, what? What? She's a, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping up. Okay, okay. Yeah, Luis, I know, I know that. Marco? Good morning, Marco. Thanks for, for supporting us. Good morning, Marco. Good to see you, mate. I, I just my, my tracking has just passed over to you. You get me. So hopefully that won't be too long now. John, your beeping is driving me crazy. <laughs> I tell you that every time, right? <laughs> you do. You do. <laughs> Yeah, this, this so, is why I couldn't stream. Um, yeah. Obviously, I'm at work. I can jump I, in. Yeah, I, I, I understand you're at work, and uh, I, I called Brain. She didn't answer right away, and I messaged her, and she messaged me right back within a minute, and said I opened another one, and I told her go back to bed. Warren has one open, and she yeah. said, she said thank you, and I came right over here. So, yeah, I, I tried ringing her on both uh, Messenger and WhatsApp. Uh, she yeah. didn't answer. And I left her a message yeah. on both well, as well. They're both exhausted, so. They are. You know, oh, yeah, a, day, a day job, a day job, little ones, and doing the amount of hours that they do. You know, I do, I do a lot of hours, but I'm just sitting here. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not, it's not hard for me to do anything, and searching coins actually is tiring. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think people realize just how tiring it actually is. Right. Well, I was organizing those wheat scents last night. Uh, well, not wheat scents, but the scents last night. Organizing them into the mints. Um, I've got some P mints with the actual P stamp on it. I've got um, S mints. I've also got the Denver Mint and the No Mint, which is the Philadelphia. Uh, so I was organising those for two hours last night and got about just over halfway through the bag. I've not even got around to doing the dates yet. So yeah, it, it is tiring. Yeah, so it's Marco, whereabouts are you from, buddy? I just saw you coming. Are you UK or are you America? 
he he was on stream um last night at, um and then came over to Pinky's stream so he he's been on um a, a couple two three of them or that i've noticed since i've been up so yeah i recognize the name i just wondered where yeah. he's from uh, yeah I'm giving him a sub anyway And that's the other thing why I, why I couldn't stream. I can't see the chat. So, right. <laughs> so it helps that yeah, you guys are mentioning people that are coming in, so it's fantastic. Well, I I tried to keep up with chat where I can respond to what's being said in chat, and somewhere between what I had been doing, um, uh, Streamyards quit, and it's like, oh no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Somebody help me! Yeah, we can't, I thought maybe your battery had died or something, so I quickly jumped out of bed and said I'll start a new one. No, uh, my my phone's at a hundred percent. Will's died, and uh, um, we we had said that uh, he can. He told me that he can get back to twenty five thirty percent if if I can keep it going for twenty minutes. And in that twenty minutes, Streamyard's kicked out. I don't know why. I don't. I don't. I don't know what happened. And it's like <gasps> panic mode. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll come back on then. Good morning, oh, I, Jim, Jack. I'm. I'm sure he would. Good morning, Jack. So, anyhow, um, I did. I figured that uh, after Ian made me that offer, there was no way that I could leave. I know I'm just a mod, but you know. And Will said he'd stay with me, so we keep it going as long as we could. I must say, Ian does come up with some good deals and good offers. Um, life changing on my part. Brilliant. So, yeah. Um, so you, you gotta get your passports ready then. Oh no no, I I can, <laughs> there's no way I'll ever get one. There's no way they'll ever give me one. Uh, I'm really pleased. I'll watch that video back later, but I am really pleased. So, I I thank you, Warren, for coming on. Um, I'm sorry you had to get out of bed. I know, I know that Dory was warm and snuggly. <laughs> now, did Dory have the shower? <laughs> yeah, Dory's just showering, and she'll come and join us when she's ready. <laughs> I, I'm uh, waiting for Louise to respond. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for a change, I actually had a really good night's sleep last night. I had quite an early night for me, so um, yeah, it wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a problem coming up. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, burning the candle at both ends. You know, you you burn yourself out. So That's it, yeah. You know, and you know we're we're just at a week, you know, uh, a week straight. So I and we talked about that last night. Uh, Ian had said six days straight. He's like, well, if I can make, if I can do anything about keeping it going to seven, I'm going. To. Yeah, definitely. That's some. That is some fight. It is. It is. It's amazing. It really is. So, you know, and. And trying to trying to do this from just a phone, and it's like there's no way I can let anybody back in there, you know. Yeah. Um, but I yeah, did as long as I could. <laughs> Good morning, Louise. Don't worry about the worry. She will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so that really is quite incredible. That's what, 168 hours straight that'll be. I don't think there's many channels that I've ever done that, you know. No. no. I know like we're swapping you know, we're swapping like uh CJs and stuff like that, but for this for a a single channel to do something like that. You get the odd ones that are just like um, a webcam that are running 24 hours a day, but that's not the same. No, yeah, no. not a, a, active coin hunt and, and chat for that long. I don't know of any. 
Nah. You know what? I'd love to see Ian's face if it, when we can get him a play button. Oh, that would be. Because I don't think Ian, I don't think Ian realizes. We hit so many subscribers, he'll get a play button. <laughs> Did you read that one? <laughs> I'm ringing the highest PCA on him. Is it ten thousand for the first play button, or is it a hundred thousand? Uh, I think it used to be a thousand, but and I know they changed it. Uh, I'd have to look that up. But it'd be nice to get Ian a play button. That would be nice. What was really nice, I don't think you were in, John. Um, but Ian, come on. Yeah, you were. But I don't know whether you were still actually on at the time. Last night, and he was saying he doesn't view it as his channel anymore. Yeah. Um, I heard so a bit, a bit of it. Everybody was still saying, no, 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 it doesn't matter, Ian. It is still your channel. Yeah. yeah, we're still representing the Great British Coin Hunt when we're on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, Rep representing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, he, is, he is so proud over it, and he should be. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm new here, and I'm st I'm stuck. I'm like every day, um, <laughs> but, and 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 it's and it's not a problem. I enjoy it every every minute. Yeah, and, and Streamyard's helped so much as well now. Oh yeah, it is. Just, it's so addictive. It is. You're not there just talking to a screen on your own. You've yeah. actually interacted with people and the people in the chat. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's and you get you get to know people from across the world. Yeah. You know, it's, so it's not just the coins that you know more about the culture and everything yeah. right yeah yeah i'm you know, just saying to you Warren, it's yours to take more decisions on yourself yeah i know he, he, he's always on at me i'll ring him up um and i'll say to him oh Ian, i've got this idea to run by you and he's like why are you running to buy me just go ahead and do it <laughs> If it sounds good to you, it probably is good. So yeah. go with it. Yeah, you know, but that's a point of respect as well on your part. Hey, exactly. I want I want to make sure I got permission to do this. Yeah, so exactly. you know, show showing respect is why we're we're all who we are. Yeah, Ian's lieutenant. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that, no, that's, I mean, it's really nice, but I still just, I, even though he keeps telling me, I always still run it by him. Um, I just think it works better that way. He might right. say to me, well, you know, maybe work, do that, but just tweak this a little bit or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's having that, um, the feedback, like when me, me and you have spoken before. Um, when we were talking about a few things, you know, it's having that feedback. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm just thankful I found you guys, and I'm thankful I found Ian. That is an incredible man. But it, like he said to you, though, Tilly, it goes both ways. Well, you know, um, it, it, when he offers people a deal, whatever way it is, because you know he, he structures it differently for every person. But when he offers yeah. somebody a deal, it, it, I mean, he's done it with me, and it sounds like a fantastic deal to you. But at the same time, it's a great deal for Ian, right? Yeah, yeah so it's win-win all round. Well, hey, he uh, he he taught me a lesson last night, and. Um, he made a deal with with Pinky, and he says, "Watch this." So he made a deal that ended up costing him uh, uh, with a 2015 Air Belfast. Yeah. Um, for one of Pinky's coins, and then he turned around and said, "Okay, I'm going to do a." Uh, Hundred drawing on that at a dollar seventy-five a piece. Yeah. So, 
he he made an incredible deal to them for a single coin, and then he's going to turn around and and everybody's happy. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's about it's not just about him being happy; it's about everybody getting a good deal. Right, right. And then he made me my Chloe. Then he made me my deal, and that's when I had I had to have a couple moments. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, I've talked to you about what's what's going on in uh, yeah. probate probate and stuff, and the amounts of wow that we don't have. Um, yeah. He made me an offer to remedy that um, completely. Brilliant. Um, that's a chunk, and just follow through with this, and we're good to go. Brilliant. Brilliant. No. Nobody's ever done that for me in my life, ever. Uh, Ian is a very good judge yeah. of character. And well, I, I, that, that's why I couldn't let the stream die. <laughs> well, how could I let the stream die if, if yeah. he made me that offer and then just give up? No way, I'll stay. <laughs> but, I, I would feel horrible to have an offer like that and then let him down. No way. <laughs> the bandits are all waking up now. Where is their first port, port of call? <laughs> no brainer. Yeah. 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 So I know exactly what you mean, though, Jack, because it's the same with me. When it, If I'm not on live, the first thing I do when I get two minutes of spare time is I pop this on. It's Wait. better than TV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I watched TV. I'm. It's been over two years for me. Wow. That's how long ago they took away cable and phone service. So. Wow. Yeah, when they stopped doing it, and there's so few people here that nobody else wants to come in and start it back up because there's not enough population to justify yeah. the expenditure. That's crazy. Yeah. So I take it you're doing this for your mobile phone signal then? Yeah, I'm eating data, but... Crazy. Yeah, but I I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, I might I might not be able to come on at the end of the month. Um, if I if I limit myself, um, filter it down a little bit, I'll make to the end of the month. But um, I won't leave Ian hanging. Not after last night, no way. Watching Mr. Men this morning. No, I was watching um, Dory this morning. I watched EastEnders and Holby last night. That was all I've watched all day since 6 a.m. <laughs> I even actually, last month, I even cancelled my TV license because I just don't watch it anymore. Yeah, I bet you got some fun letters back, didn't you? No, they're absolutely fine, actually. Um, you can email them and say that you don't watch it anymore. Yeah. Um, and they just send you a, a letter back saying, fine, when do you want your license to cancel? Um, and if they owe you any money, they'll refund it to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, no, they've been fine about it. That makes a change. Uh, I'm waiting for a bailiff to turn up on my door and say you oh. haven't got a license, but yeah, I just don't watch TV anymore, so it's not a problem. I hope Will makes it back. I don't know if that other stream closed completely out. I'm going to check it real quick. I'll keep checking. I, 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 would, I would hate for him to be sitting in there waiting. Yeah. Well, I did put a message saying, like, come over to uh, f find uh, Warren's stream, because this stream has now ended. Okay. Um, oh, Jack, okay. I, I suppose it's technically, Jack, they, they're asking for your honesty. Um, so, yes, you still have to have one if you watch TV through your, your devices. Um, but they, you know, they're relying on your honesty um, and, and saying that you don't watch it. 
Um, so it's not just the TV losses because it also covers the radio as well. Yeah. Um, I think it's. Um, don't quote me, but I think it's if you watch any live TV or yeah. watch anything back on the iPlayer, um, then you require the license, something along those lines. Um, but I, yeah, I just can't it. And I say, so far, they've been spot on with it. Yeah. Oh, it gets a <laughs> special. <laughs> I can still time you out, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> um, give her a smack like yeah. no <laughs> oh uh, so yeah it's just I guess you know they're just asking about honestly and um Oh, excuse uh, me. I mean, regardless of what you might read everywhere, they actually have no way of telling whether you've got a TV that is watching um, live TV. I know everybody says that their fan can detect you. It's absolutely rubbish. They can't. Um, they'll knock on your door um, and then they'll ask you to you know, if they can come in and see it. That's how they find out, is by you letting them in and seeing it. But I say, I've got no problems with it, because I just don't watch it anyway. Um, I'm so excited about it. Why is it? Oh, yeah, because you had to read book it for delivery. Let's just hope it is Henry Lee. <laughs> Warren's a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't want to get too excited in case it's not Henry, but I'm just hoping it is. Um, and it's not just Henry. There are a couple of other bits and bobs in there as well for you. So, fingers crossed it is Henry. All right, so I've suddenly jumped from 79 to 97 now. You have that many soaps? No, 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 no. There's, there's oh. saying that's how old I am. Oh. <laughs> well, you look pretty good for that age. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I don't mind being that age. Right? Uh, when when I told Ian that I'll be 53 on Thursday, he says, you don't even look close to 53. And it's like, well, thank you. <laughs> I think my sub count is around about 160. Something like that. Well, we need to catch you up and pass me. <laughs> I'm happy with that. It's nicely just, yeah, 161. Um, I'm happy to just take it along. Better be Henry, I'll be fuming paying £1.50 for John Quayle. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you did. <laughs> Can't be fit in 97, he's still got eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then Lou said, no, she drew the bomb for me. What? Why are you attacking me, honey? <laughs> <laughs> she walked up behind me and gave me a flip in the back of the arm. Like, why are you attacking me? What did I do? Would you like some raspberry donut? No, I would not like raspberry donut. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the offer. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> so how, how was Ian last night? Oh, we, we, honestly, he... Uh, I, I respected the man to begin with, and he took that to a completely another level. So, um, he, he was laughing, he was having fun, he was making deals, uh, having a couple couple toddies with us. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know. 
I don't know exactly how long he stayed because I had to have Brain help me get me an account on the Great British Coin Hunt because I can't do it from this. So, and today she's gonna help uh, help me get my uh, um, WhatsApp working. So. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm. I tr I trust my friends, so that's that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to yeah. actually send an email. That's just for yeah. me. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, John, you would have probably known that all the hours were sh sorted out, but they didn't get sorted. Yeah, you sent me that um, email. Yeah. Um. But it's. Brain got in touch with me last night. It's actually a different email that they've got registered there. Um, so yeah, it, yeah. It, Ian knew that there, there were under two different emails. One was for the um, for the payment, and one was for the actual account. Yeah. So I'm just literally gonna email that over now. So fingers crossed, they'll get that today. Um, he, uh, to, to get my account going, um, he told me that I needed to go on, um, sign up, put all my information in, and it's like, but I don't have a credit card. He said, just order something and send it to me. He says, I'll take, I'll take care of it. <laughs> so, being, being the daughters, now the, our, you know, we all do things as one in this house. Um, let her and Brain pick out what what to use with the fiber discount. So um, initially they were doing her three initials, and uh, Ian had said between this range and this range, and it was a little over it. And it's like we'll just do this one. We'll get the rest of them later. So got her in first initial in an alphabet coin. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, that's a, you know, that that's just one of the small things he did. You know, and I don't want to say that that's small. I don't want to make it seem like it's less than it is. It, it was amazing. No, nobody has ever treated me that good, ever. Yeah, he doesn't uh, let people down. He's a good guy. I, short people. He, he's amazing. He's amazing. So, yeah, when uh, when Brain couldn't make it anymore, she literally fell out at the coin table and Pinky couldn't go anymore previously. So I, uh, I said, I'll keep it going as long as I can. And Will said he'd stay with me. It's like, we're, we're just little guys, but we'll keep it going. Page four, is that on the Tootin' Car Moon Oh, thank God. I'm sorry, I just haven't been. Um, do, yeah, they've been putting in some long old shifts, haven't they, the last few days? Oh yeah, well uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there for them. <laughs> so, and then I, then I come visit you, and then I go visit Steve, <laughs> and I visit Scott. Yeah, it's good. It's good. So, I'm. No, it. I can't, I'm committed to it because I, I feel like I don't want to miss out on anything. <laughs> That's the thing. You don't want to miss anything. Right. And then no, uh, when you do and you always come on and as soon as you come on, you hear people straight away talking, oh, this happened yesterday. And you're like, no way I missed that. Right. And where was that in that video? <laughs> well, you have to go. You have to go watch the video. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've been there myself and done that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm great. I'm extremely grateful. I and. Jack, thank you. That you know, that's that's why I'm here because the way you guys treat me. Silly, like I've said to you before, we love you. Yeah, love you too, John. You know, before we came over to the Great British Coin Hunt, you know how much you used to be in, in Pinky and Brains um, streams, you know, and the yeah. chats we all had before we came over here. You know, the the knowledge that you have and the fun that you bring, you know, and the clarity, you know, you're grounded, but you can have a laugh. Well, yeah. If I can't, if I can't laugh at myself, how can I laugh at somebody else and not be a? Hmm, I can't use that word. <laughs> it's that it's that time of day. I can't use that word. <laughs> so it's like when we were talking to Will earlier, and obviously I had to put it in the message. He was talking about that, that uh, cop, copper coin, where it was six six six. Yeah. Uh, that he's going to be sending to, um, to Pinky, Pink, like yeah, yeah. You know, I think it's you know the generosity that so many people have shown to each other. Um, well, I, think, you know, Will Will lost it somewhere in his house, and he was like, "Oh my God, it disappeared!" Um, right after he decided that he was going to give it to Pinky, and then he was like creeped out. How did it disappear when I knew where it was? And then he found it, and he's like, "It's gone. It's going away now." <laughs> you know, but I don't. I don't have those those issues. I don't have those superstitions. So, yeah, and that's what I said about yeah. the actual material, because if you do like a uh, black magic and stuff like that, it's made out of an earth material, the pentagram. Um, that's why they also use salt uh, right. to do some of the. Um, the drawings and that because it, it's from the earth it's not man-made it's it's right. part of nature um and it's the same with like uh, the burning man and other other religions where you know they use specific specific materials to make um the items <coughs> because it comes from the earth it's natural you know copies of natural forming uh, material that's found from the earth so somebody to stamp 666 on it, that is like somebody who who makes a copper pendant or a um, silver cross because it's a right. earth material. And then to throw it out, back out there in circulation where it can be found, that that's just to mess with people at a certain point, oh, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, of course it is, of course it is. You know, and the thing is, people mistake 666 is the devil's number but it's not the devil's number is actually 999 which is funny which is our emergency telephone number here in the UK what really yeah. yes 999 ours is 911 yeah yep I, I never got why they were so far apart why can't you just push zero and say help <laughs> yeah. do, you, do, you, do you want the, do you want to know the the boring reason why they have those numbers like that? Do you really want to know the honest answer? Oh, uh, sure, John, please. Right. Order. <laughs> what it was is when telephone the telephone exchange and telephone lines used to be put up. If they used to connect, they used to actually dial. So when it was windy or icy and the, the, the wires used to connect, um, it, it, it would f physically make a connection and, and dial a number. So if you oh, had your emergency so number at sure. zero, yeah, so it, would, it could physically dial a number. So what's the hardest random number they could think of for an emergency service number, which is one number for everybody to call, was 999 for them. Because to have it dialed nine digits, then nine digits, then nine digits. Because remember, it was analog, so it was beep, 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 beep. Because you know, if you listen to the dial tone when you used to dial, you used to go. So when the lines used to connect, 999 would be 
virtually impossible for the wind or um, the weather to cause it to connect the cables together to dial 999 or 911. I, I get that. Uh, I, I guess I understand that completely. So Marco is asking, any thoughts for the perfect Christmas present that you would like to give or receive? Mm. Is uh, it, does it have to be coin related? Yeah. Does it have to be coin related, Marco? Oh, Jack. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, so Will's coming back. Here we go. Will. Yeah. Good to have you back, Will. Welcome back, Will. Yeah, you're all good. Sorry, my phone died. Ah, uh, that's all right. Thanks for helping me, Will. We held down the fort pretty good. I don't, I don't know what happened right after you, your phone died. I was like, okay, um, I'll hold it down. And I went to check chat, and I went back to Streamyards, and it had shut down. And I was like, oh no! <laughs> I I don't know that I made another 15, 10, 15, 20 minutes. I I don't know exactly after your phone died. Um, I was telling them that you were coming back after uh, you got 25-30%. We figured 20-25 minutes, okay, cool, no problem. And right at about that moment is when StreamYards quit. And it's like, oh no. Yeah, no problem. We've got it up and running again. Yeah, well, we're, we got you up a little early, Warren. No, I was awake anyway, silly, so I was just going to be laying in bed watching anyway. Um, so, what, you know, I've just, just been getting out of bed a little bit earlier, but it's not a problem. Yeah, have we, have we found out if it's going to be a coin-related present or not? Uh, it doesn't say. It's just said, give us your best shot. <sighs> uh, um, wait, do I... Does it have to be realistic, or, or, or is it something I can wish for? What? Coin related, no, I'm not coin related. The choice is yours. So I'm guessing just anything at all is what he's asking you. Well, well that's a nice coin. That, what I would say then, um, what I would like for Christmas is, uh, as many of you know, I don't see my sons very often they live with their mums so um, waking up and spending Christmas day with both my sons that would be the best present I could ever receive fair enough that's a lovely call in there Will thank you I can't see I can't see Rudy's showing I gotta come over here is that the proof quarter camera It's uh, the 1961 proof. Yeah, that, um, a show, did he drop out again? His phone probably giving him grief. He dropped out again. Yeah. But it, his phone does that too, and it just, it happens in Pinky Stream all the time. So, man. That that's why yeah, we did the, the duty bit as well. That's why we made the plan that we did. We knew he was low on charge, and uh, um, just to, just before Brain was going to bed, um, we need to be able to get back on Streamyards if something happens. She said, "Call me." So, and she'd restart it. But okay. Oh. Maybe he's having a few problems. I can see him on the preview. Oh no, there we go. Yep. Back again. Oh, silly dropped off. Yeah, that is lovely. Oh wow. Yeah, that is really nice.
Well, that's how we just met. It's that eighteen seventy six. Wow. Yes. Oh wow. Sorry, that was my fumble fingers. Wow, that is lovely. And I don't know why it keeps doing it. Oh, there we go. Um, can, Will, can you take Warren and uh, people in chat for a trip to your foreign room? Or is your phone too oh, yeah. dead? Just for, just for a little peek. Warren, this yeah. is a 12 by 15 room that he is going to show you. That's his floor. Those are all, those are all coin, foreign coins in flips. Wow. The UK section. Oh, quite a good selection of UK. In the Mexico section. Wow. I think it's like that. 1807. You're breaking up, Will. Did you say 1807? 1837. Oh, uh, yeah. 1807. So, a 12 by 15 room with that many coins in flips on his floor. That is incredible. Well, you have to send me a picture through Instagram. I can't see it right now. <laughs> I'll send you a picture, John. Make, make, make me feel sorry. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be drooling. So, I don't know if you can see that question, uh, Will. Is that ours? Uh, on the coin, or does he... Or, or... I, I didn't see it in the chat before, but... Uh, I Oh, I'm not I'll have to get back to you on that. I'm I'm sure it might. Yeah, when when Will first showed us that, all of us all of our jaws dropped. It's like nice. no way. Does that include your American collection, Will? Or is that just foreign coins? Hey guys, I think I've worked it out. I think, I think Will's uh, pulling the uh, all over our eyes. I think he lives in this coin shop. I think that's where he lives. He's not telling us, but I think he lives in the coin shop. <laughs> it's night security too. <laughs> That is it's criminal justice, so you're catching on. <laughs> Did that include your American coins, Will, or was that for the foreign coins? Uh, no, uh, all my American coins are in my safe, um, besides the Wow. There's actually another, um, safe in there that I have my tokens and, and um, Morgan. Uh, Jack, he did see your question. He said he wasn't sure. He'd have to look it up was, uh, on the answer for it. Silver. 
Wow. Are they proof? The backside's really interesting. Still alive. Agatha, you got McCoy's jeans. I forgot. You probably look perfect. Wow. That is that the assayer's coin? Oh no, that's this not the assayer's um, coin. The, the uh, Russian um. That is awesome. Yep. Yeah, Will, Will has quite a collection. <laughs> I'll say. Uh, uh, enough, enough to make Louise say, wow, nice collection. <laughs> you know you're doing well if you get loose to say that. Oh, yeah. The USS office. Wow. Yeah, we were all impressed. Yeah. I Will and Pat both have amazing collections. Those yeah, I've not seen all of that. that. Ooh, that was loud. Hang on. Sorry, that was me. No. The assay on that, Will, are they just tokens, or is that... Um, I think he's dropping out again. He, he's moving around his house. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, get to the state. The tokens and other odd bits and ends. <laughs> oh, my word. Buffalo nickels and Indian heads. <laughs> posing as a rock star, but he's actually a secret agent. <laughs> Random gaming tokens like Chuck E. Cheese and whatnot. Wow. Two or three Let's try to pull a wooden nickel out of here. A wooden one. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've never seen that before. Wow. So, how old is that? Oh, uh, uh, Chris Bear just messaged me. Hang on. Oh, that's, that's in really good condition. Wow. Is there a reason it was made from wood, or is it just a commemorative? Oh, it's it's wood. It was it was used at the time, um, but it was. Uh released for a coin convention. You you can actually find quite a lot of these over here at some uh, shops. Wow. That is awesome. What else we got here?
something that I don't think uh, I showed you. I showed quite a few other people. Let's see. Yeah. 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 That's incredible. And on the back it reads, because of the confusion created by the steel scent, the U.S. Mint stopped issuing them, and it was to boost American morale at the time. That's amazing. A shell casing from the wet bullets. Get some rest. We'll come get your really cool. <laughs> that is beautiful, that. <laughs> Look how angry the waiter is. The waiter is so angry, Mom. I know. Isn't that hey, and every time he moves the camera, there's another oh, pile of coins. Up. And another <laughs> pile of coins. And another <laughs> pile of coins. Like, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> How old are you? You got that collection already, right yeah. on. Hey, hey, he showed Michael Kittle as well, and Michael had the same reply. And Michael's got a collection himself, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Wow. Tell me about How long have you been collecting, Will? Um, about, about a year. A year? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Here's something kind of weird. Um, have you heard of counter stamp coins before? No. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. focus. Mm, that's not focusing very well. Okay. Um, there's uh, three sixes across it. Oh. Oh, I had it. There we go. Isn't that weird? That is crazy. So that's okay. one he's giving to Pinky. Yeah, you want to get that one in an envelope ASAP. <laughs> you don't want to lose it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's envelope. You might recognize this. I just recently picked this up. 50 pence. British Armed Forces, yeah. Wow. Oops. That wasn't very hidden. <laughs> Just had a bright red light in the middle of my face. <laughs> yeah, Rudolph so, has one of those as well in the middle of his face. Big red light. Oh, oh yep. Hey, yep. And he, he has that issue in. I wish I wish he could fix it. I wish he it didn't happen, but we be patient with him because oh. he's a he's got a collection that's like as young as he is, and then, then to open that room, it's yeah. I've seen the room, I've seen the room, and it's like that's a twelve by fifteen room, and I've seen it on Streamyards. 
you know so it's like being able to identify the size of that room because i built so many of them and then seeing all those coin flips <laughs> on the floor it's like that's a 12 by 15 room that's uh, a lot that of coins is, yeah that's incredible and he's young yeah wow like, wow yeah and he he has like 2500 and he only has like 200 american coins wow yeah but the rest the rest, he's a foreign coin collector but the his american coins are nice nice american coins yeah 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 he's got some absolute beauties there he's got stuff that i've never seen before just like you guys do yeah you know um i don't remember who was showing it the other day um but uh uh maybe it was even michael kittle that uh six sixteen thirty one i think it was um uh the coronation medal uh, one of the one of the king's coronation medals and it's like from the 1600s wow yeah um some of michael's michael is just wow incredible but my, michael's in southern california and he he runs like organizations that yeah. put on coin shows and and newsletters for coins and just wow and really will really impress michael <laughs> yeah that takes some doing <laughs> No, and and the, the I don't know Will's age. I I don't know the it's about twenty two, twenty three. Twenty three, yeah, twenty three years old and got a collection like that. That's wow. impressive. Uh, good morning, Chris. Did Chris Bear come in? Yeah, he's just come on now. Right on. He had just messaged me on Messenger, and I told him to come over. So. Yeah. Um, I he I wanted I wanted to connect with him so we could keep in touch and know where each other's mail is and uh, when we got it and such. So, you know, he he's like the brother from another mother. <laughs> and World War Two ration tokens. Wow. Well, because I haven't already done it this morning and I normally do it most mornings when I get into pinkies <coughs> Excuse me. I normally say good morning to everybody which I've not had a chance to do that so can I just take this moment to uh, say I will turn your microphone um, your headphones down for a second or your speakers so I can give my uh, my good morning to everybody would that be okay go for it <laughs> Morning. <laughs> wakey, wakey, rise and shine. <laughs> wow. You'll enjoy looking at this collection. See, it has the same design as it. But on the back, um, it has the the unit numbers, um, Union. 62 and 65 on the uh wow. oh, come on you just had it there we go. that is unbelievable that, that's the uh, 1863 will yeah yeah uh, right in the middle of the civil war wow How'd that survive? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. You know, um, some, somebody had to have hid that, hoarded that, because um, you know that that's, uh, was valuable, and after the Civil War, everybody was really poor. 
well, especially even during the uh, the Great Depression as well. Yeah, really. For that to survive that as well. Yeah. And every every time I see Will's Will's collection, he sh he shows us something he hadn't showed us before, and it's just another wow, wow, wow. Every, every time. <laughs> I, I'm, Good to see you, buddy. What up? I gotta go say hi. Let me just check. Everything's right there. Uh, Lorna, sometimes that's happened and they've had to quit and re lock back in and it's sorted itself. Um, I'm just gonna check our end, make sure it's nothing that we've done. Um, yeah, sorry, carry on, guys. Sorry. All right, that's all right, Lorna. Um, I, I just, I just wanted to make sure that uh, me and him could take touch base and uh, let him know that we were on. Warren was on. Um, I hate fighting with technology too. <laughs> well, I'm going to be jumping on at ten till eleven to give uh, Warren a break. For an hour. Thank you, John. So I will be back on it later. Done that third time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it does get frustrating, and then you don't know why. Right on. So I, I, uh, I just thought it was, uh, good idea that uh, I'd be able to contact him and he'd be able to contact me to see how our how our stuff is going yeah you know um, uh, myself and you Warren that, that's just a sharks in the water moment he's good for now as long as it's not a baby sharky moment oh not baby well that's got an awesome design on that Wow. Silly, you might be able to remember um, which uh, American coin uh, tuber it was. It was a one American coin tuber. He had a silver, I think it was a silver round, and it was from the first Gulf War, and it actually got um, the, uh, the person's name on it from, uh, from one of the warships that actually served. It was oh, I... I... I that that actually doesn't sound familiar to me, John. I don't know if it was Michael or uh, one of the other ones. Um, I I know I know that uh, Rob Fine's treasure had gotten a, a service medal um, from a war veteran. Um, no, this was an actual coin, not a medal. Well, um, um, that was in the first Gulf War. Uh, um, it's. It's not like something you hang on your chest. It's more like a silver round. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but it wasn't yeah. right because who it was, um, they were, they'd actually contacted the actual um, ministry, uh, the armed yeah. forces, uh, because obviously it got the, the, the private number on there, but he found a load of information that he worked on a, a particular warship. Um, and I can't remember who it was. And I just want yeah, to you know, have the money I, to get the money to turn it to him yet. I I I really I really don't know. And when Rob got his, the guy wrote Rob a big letter, and and he doesn't want it back. He wants him to have it because of everything that he does for the coin community. Oh wow! Yeah, so that, that was a really really touching letter, and and he asked him to read it out loud on on stream. It's in one of Rob's um, mail call videos. Right. So, <coughs> it, it was super touching. Um, um, telling telling Rob about uh, how he had got him back into coin hunting and it was actually therapy and took his mind off the war and such. Oh. Wow. Was it a very large penny type coin, John? I am aware. Um, no, it was it was actual silver. 
Um, it was like a um, like a dollar, um, but yeah, it would be like one of the service medals. But it was actually found in um, a roll. Yeah, they were what were known as death oh. then for soldiers who had passed away during service. Um, no, this this person was still alive. Um, it was during the first Gulf War. Every soldier, a sailor, um, armed forces personnel were issued with this this. Um, well, I think what Silly says, it was a like a, a, a silver round, like a round coin. I think it was actually found either at a coin shop or it was they found it during a coin hunt. Um, and they were like, "Wow, well, I'm going to try and get this back to the person who it belongs to." If that was put, found in a coin roll, um, how'd it get in that coin roll? Um, because I don't think that people. Uh, I don't want to guess, but right. that's a uh, to, to find to find it in a coin coin roll is uh, that's kind of shocking, actually. Yeah, because they're about the size. Is it a half dollar or the dollar uh, coins? I can't remember the um, sizes. There, there's a well. There, there's multiple different sizes of dollar coins, and uh, the the Ike dollars, um, if I remember right, are the biggest around, and. Uh, uh, like the Susan B and the Sacagawea, and there's another one, and I can't remember the name of it. But they're all they're all about the size of a quarter, and they're worth a dollar. And they always got mixed up. People paying a do paying a dollar when something was only a quarter type stuff. Will do you know the the other name of the dollar aside from the Ike and the Susan B and the Sacagawea, um, at recent, um, last 30 years. There's, there's another one in the middle of there. Silver? Uh, a, a dollar coin, U.S. I can't. I can't remember the name of it. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm not remembering it either. Um, well, I. I'm. I'm pretty positive that there's three of them. And uh, well, and anyhow, if you if you were hearing what John was saying, uh, um, that's a. That's a. You go find that person. Find. I can't see what Louise says. Uh, she signed a presidential. And ah, Jack, pre signed, Jack signed a Liberty no. Dollar. Liberty. Um, I, I, I don't know for sure. I, I really don't know for sure. I would have to look it up and... I'll probably I'll probably lose signal again. I'm waiting I'm waiting for my phone to update and uh, shut me off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and my it gets head. a bit sooner than idiot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm in a bus lane and he went to cut across in front of me whilst I'm in the bus oh. lane. Uh, duh. Um. Louis says it's all the presidents. The presidential dollar is all the, all the presidents. I, I, if that's what it is, Louis knows more uh, than me about U.S. coins. Google's fantastic. <laughs> right. Well, I, I thought you meant like an older one. Like uh, I know they have the presidential oh, oh. ones, but um, I thought you said gold dollars, in, including that, not oh, just the uh, su or the. Yeah. Well, the the, the, Ike, the, the season bees, the Ike, the season bees, and the sack of Julius is is what I initially said, and I couldn't remember the name of the other one. 
But oh. I, if that's what it is, um, I'm not sure I've ever seen one of those. The presidential ones? Yeah. Uh, well, it'll just they make have like a, a ton of them. Oh. You haven't seen one by now. Um, I'm in Montana. Still, there is there is one there is some for every president. Um, I think uh, I don't I don't think they have Obama or uh, Trump or anything like that yet. But more oh, commemorative. I, I, oh, they're commemorative. They're not. They're not like a. Uh, they're not. They're, they're spendable. Not, well, oh, well then I don't know about them. I've I've never seen one. I I haven't seen I haven't seen a Bush or a Reagan. I haven't seen a Clinton. I haven't seen I haven't, a Ford or a Carter. I haven't seen a Kennedy. Oh, well, 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 I do. They have Jack and, and John Kennedy. I I don't know. So that's what I'm saying. I I've, I've never seen any of the presidents I've named on a coin that's spendable. Silly, right. old you, please do a turn one session to teach us about the U.S. coinage with coins as example. What? I'm lost, Jack. Like, I don't uh, know. Pennies, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars. Oh. Maybe. Yeah, I think that, what she's saying is, what? can you do a, a stream one day? And teaches about American coins. Huh. Um, I, I will have to do research on every one of those coins, but yeah. <laughs> There's definitely um, a lot to go through. Yeah. Um, they, just going through the penny is a bunch. And just each so many one, errors and varieties and. But the, there's so many styles of penny. There's so many styles of nickel. There's so many styles of dime. There's so many styles of quarter. There's so many styles of fifty cent. There's so many styles of dollar. You know, there, there's all those coins back to the 1700s. Pennies, nickel, dime, quarter, fifty cent, um, and dollar. So. When when did what, colonial was when they first started printing uh, paper money over here? And for each one of the colonies, right? Um, off the top of my head, I couldn't remember. Well, I I, I was asking. Oh, did Will disappear again? No, Will's still here. Okay. No, still here. Uh, all right. So. Um, uh, and that was that was uh, like tax stamps and such like that that was used for for money um, in each one of the colonies back then, right? You you still had coins um, from the late 1700s in the transitional periods, um, right? You you can find them online. I actually don't have any of them myself. I forget the name of them. But the the colonial to the 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 state currency and both continue to be used. I know that. Um, my favorite my favorite bill is an 1899 five dollar bill. And the story with that is there's a Native American chief on it, and the artist uh, depiction of that chief was too big for the center of the the bill, like where you would place a president's head. Um, so they replaced the headdress of that chief with a headdress from a different tribe. Ouch. Which is, which is like blasphemy. Uh -huh. You know, they, um, but they actually put it out in print and did not care. And they're, they're really collectible and they're beautiful. They really right. are. Jump off because I've got 13% battery. Um, I will be back on at 10. Okay, John. Okay, John. Thank right, you. I'll catch you all later. Cheers, John. Okay. Take care. Bye. 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 But uh, um, they, uh, 
that bill that bill is just incredible and if uh if anybody's curious um the 1899 five dollar american bill um the picture of the native american on it was highly controversial for why i just said but it's an amazingly beautiful bill so do you go and well, guys spend dollar coins or just use dollar bills and keep the coins in collections a lot of people collect them, but uh, in general, um, I'd say they're pretty spendable. Besides the Susan B. Anthony's, it's always good to hold on to those because there's a lot of rare errors with those. With the gold dollars, there's some errors to pay attention to. Like with the eagle, you look on the tail feathers on the back, and most of them will be pretty simple designs. But if they have tufts in them and they're more intricate, they're a different variety, and they're worth a lot more, and they're really hard to find. But in general, you just spend them. Um, like with the presidential dollars, to me, I don't collect them myself. So if I picked one up, I would make sure it wasn't a rare one, but I'd quickly spend it. So in general, we, we spend uh, a lot of people. I work at a coin shop, so a lot of people come in with the gold dollar coins, sometimes thinking that it's worth more, that it has gold value, and you have to break their heart and let them know that it's a copper zinc mix, and it's just a, a dollar coin worth a dollar. So, yeah, spend them. <laughs> Yeah, and it's sad. See, I, 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 I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen those. I don't know that I've ever seen those presidential dollars. I, I would know a different president on a dollar. Oh. Yeah, but I'm in a town of uh, 600 people in Montana, and I, I don't recognize that. And it's not, it's not like I haven't been anywhere. I think Will's going to go and get you on. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 have, I have no doubt that he has one somewhere. Uh, not, not a presidential, but um, definitely a weird Sagajewea dollar. Um, okay. I'll show you. Now, in general, they look something like this. Let's see if it'll focus. Treat me good, focus. Eh. No. Eh. <laughs> I done nearly lost it. Come back. <laughs> I got him. Hey. All right. Come on. Not going to want to focus for me, is it? All right. All right. What if I go like this? Oh, wow. Did you going to focus on it? Did you take us to bed, Will? <laughs> yep. That's most people in your bed at once, isn't it? <laughs> I like a party. <laughs> Low battery that I'm focus. I'll put that back in a minute. So um, usually right to the right of the head, there'll be a date. But on this one, there's not a date. And see if it'll wow. focus on that side. I just wish it would focus. Pause for a second. You so you have a no date dollar? Sacagawea? Yeah, they're out there too. And, there's, and, and the ones with no dates, because um, it would be right here, Yeah. have this weird back that has um, a bundle of arrows. And it's not going to come in correctly. But the, what does it say? It says Han Hodden Oswane, Great Law of Peace on the back. Wow. So there's a variety of Sacagawea dollars as well. Sacagawea. I'm probably not, probably butchering that. Close enough. We understand you. <laughs> so Jack was asking, is her silver dollar gold plated worth a lot? Do you know? It's a little bit. That's, that's strange. Um, I, I would I would li definitely like to see it. I'm not sure because uh, sometimes some things are uh, kind of done in specialty like that, which can increase its value or it can actually detract a bit from the value if somebody's looking for just the weight in silver and it has gold overtone. If it's actual gold, then there has to be a way to verify it, and usually they have to use a little chemical to burn off a little bit of it. And that could mess with the silver in it. I'm not sure. 
I watched that with focus. I actually watched a, a guy with a gold uh, to test a gold plated coin, and he took a piece of construction paper and took the edge of the coin, and he made three different uh, three different lines um, close to each other, and then two farther apart. And he run the chemical from one end to the other, and when it broke down the gold that would leave a mark on the paper, you know it was past that carrot. It's a nineteen ninety nine one ounce fine silver huh. gold plated and is big. Is it an American silver eagle? I know they had uh, gold uh, uh, American Silver Eagles. I just looked up one the other day for Steve. I haven't seen those. If you can send a picture of it by, to my email, Jack, then I can show it. Yes, sir. I think it was a night. Now I'm second guessing myself. Maybe it was a 2012. I I want to say you don't no, want to sell it though. I no. Uh, um I think I think uh okay, I won't I won't say it was Steve, but somebody had me look up a 99. And there there is an American Silver Eagle style um it, Jack does it have a walking liberty on it? You already have a goldfish. Okay, cool. There we go. And 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 just um, especially if it's dated, that helps the value, in my opinion. No matter what. See, and like I said, I'm I'm learning too, so I go. Uh, I when I go look something up. I'm learning. I'm learning it just as you are. I'm reading to you and telling you what I'm reading. Jack, most times. Send me an email with a yep. picture, and then I can show you the picture. <laughs> I don't know. And is big. May it might it might be a, com a commemorative or a, a, what the heck do you call them? Well, um, where you where you blah, 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 mint, put out this coin for 30 bucks or 50 bucks, whatever. Uh, this might be part of a collector set, too. I, I don't know for sure. Hey, I can work with that. <laughs> for, uh, yeah. I wouldn't think it was proof um, or anything like that. Well, I I know that there there's some silver ones out there where the image is gold plated, and they're they're pretty valuable. All right, there we go. Okay, let me go back to that, Wait, and I can see. Yeah, that's Walking Liberty, I think. That's one side. Okay, and then the other side. The Is Walking Liberty? Liberty and the Sun, the yeah. Sun on the bottom left, and it's dated. That's a good sign. Um, what did the back say again? They say nine 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 silver, fine silver. And it says, with the with the United States of America. I haven't seen that back before. That's interesting. Uh, I I was just gonna say I don't recognize that back either. Of America, one ounce fine silver, one dollar. What it says. That is interesting. Yeah, because one ounce of fine, really one ounce of fine silver is worth more than a dollar. <laughs> oh, I think you might have a little gem there, Jack. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't recognize the back of it. Um, let me, let me go snoop. Let me go do my job.
It's 40 millis, millimeters across. 1999. Oops. Hmm. What else? Let me see what I get. Let me see what I get in the images. Oh, come on. So are they? Are you saying they're for sale on the site, or do they just come in mystery boxes, Chris and Lorna? I'll just have a quick look myself now. It, it makes me question if it's actual gold. I mean, uh, the the silver makes sense, but the gold plating is very odd to me. I don't. I don't see why somebody would plate silver. And something that wasn't fine as well. We just do those I don't know. I feel like I've done this. I I really feel like I've searched this exact thing. I'm gonna have to check my history a little bit. I have. Um. There's an image of one here. It says ninety dollars and five cents. Uh, American American Heritage Collection. Gold plated silver. <laughs> There's another one that's colorized, and it's uh, thirty-three bucks. So. Let me see if I can find that back. That's a really beautiful coin. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, let me see if I can do this. Um, where'd it go? There it is. You got the fact that it's either an I'm, ounce of silver or it's ninety percent. I'm thinking it's an ounce. Yeah, it's an ounce. I'm gonna Plus send the commemorative send, aspect of it. I'm gonna send it to you, Warren. Okay. okay, on Messenger, what I just found, and see if that matches. Okay. Yep. On its way. It says sent, so that should be good. Um, and the, the one I sent, um, the price in it on that listing is forty four ninety five, and it's an American nice. Silver Eagle. It's an American Silver Eagle, and it says twenty four karat gold plated. I might need to turn it. Twenty four karat gold. That's good. Yeah, that's over silver so yeah. I, I was afraid that plated it in something that wasn't pure gold but it's that's good that it is wow that's yeah. awesome if if it's the if that's it's the same whammy. one it no no matter what it's it's value wouldn't be the pure silver value and it wouldn't be the pure gold value well some people might try to sell it for the pure gold value but it's right it, the fact that it is a very unique coin that you want to hold on to and sell for, well, if you there, were to sell it as those two factors, one or the other. There's one listed on eBay for two ninety nine. Wow. Yeah, the condition. Two hundred and ninety nine. And hers, and it looked beautiful. So yeah. So. I th I I think that's the same one something to hold on to for a long time did you get it warren yes i've just showed it oh okay okay i'll come back to the i'll come back to this stream then so um, i'll put it up again um where's my so, so see if that 
if that matches, if Jack can look at it and see if it's the same thing. Right, so this is for Jack and everybody else that's got one. Oh, you could, you could forward her that image, huh? I can, yeah. Yeah, that's an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, it seems like it's part of the um, American Heritage set, but it might be in different ones as well. American Heritage just kind of collects a lot of the key ones, like uh, my World War II shell ones that I was shown earlier from the same collection, but it's its own unique coin. Yeah. I'm blind. I currently cannot see that. So I'll forward you this. Uh, link oh, there. so she she already said, "Yep, that's the one." So, oh, oh yeah. <coughs> yeah. So she's asking, "What did you say it was, silly? What did you call that coin?" Uh, it, it's an American eagle, silver like eagle. Um, they they'll shorten it to an ASE. When they say ASE, it's American Silver Eagle. Awesome. So is that the right one, Jack? After he sent you that? Yeah, they're all saying it is. Right on. Okay. Glad I could find it. Glad I could help. Of course, Jack. Anytime. That's what we're here for. You guys teach us about British coins, we'll try to help you with American coins. That's a heck of a mystery box that you guys got. Yeah, definitely. It was a mystery to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> what time is it over there? It's uh, 9 a.m. Two minutes to 9 a.m. Yeah, 9 a.m. You think your girlfriend's up or what? She should be up. She should be in school. Oh. Well, you're going <laughs> you to blow up her phone while she's in school? No, nah, I won't do that. Hi, good morning, Marie. Good morning, Marie. Good morning, Marie. Oops. No, oh, you heard that? Oh, yeah. That's, that's my alarm clock in the morning. Uh, sit, sit three feet from me and repeatedly do that. Oh, my. Yeah. And the girls will sleep through it. But every little noise wakes me up, so they are not my friend. <laughs> Uh, so I just sent you the picture, uh, the link, Jack, that um, Silly sent me, so it should be the right one. Oh, you've got it now, yeah. Awesome. Morning, Marie. Yeah, they're in the stock section. Yeah. You're welcome, Lauren. Um, and as far as pennies go, I mean, there's a yeah. lot of different pennies, but some of the older pennies that we have are the large cents, which are about the size of your guys' half pennies, a little bigger. Um, and this one right here is 1831 that I have. Wow. I have one in a kind of worse condition. That's 1853. I need to put them in flips. Found those uh, metal detecting. Oh, Lorna has one too. Right on. Yeah, Lorna's got one. Chris has got one. Right on. But Jack thought it would be worth more than that. Oh, um, 45 to 100 bucks, that's, um, 
Yeah. It varies. Yeah, so I, don't know. I mean, the condition. I don't, I, I don't know how long ago that image was listed, though, either. Yeah. 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 So I mean, the silver and gold prices uh, prices keep uh, going up. I yeah, mean, silver will I, bump up and down, but it's steadily. It, w- it seems like it's holding its own at seventeen right now. Yeah, it took a drop right last there. week, though, huh? It did, but uh, like, uh, what is it? A uh, silver limey? If you watch that trend chart, it it's perfectly. I think it's really going to hold at seventeen this time. Right on. Well, who can complain about seventeen? For an ounce for silver, when what a a year and a half ago it was nine, ten. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, the The highest silver has ever gone is about fifty dollars. Wow. Yeah, for an ounce. Fifty dollars an ounce. Very yes. Not too sure about the pants on the shirt. That's crazy. I mean, none of the blues and match. Platinum starting to hold its own too. Like the little gram or three and five gram amounts didn't used to matter, and now it's starting to. So, I don't know. It's it's really cheap right now. It's it's cheaper than silver even, but it's rare. But nobody really cares about it. There's not a lot you can do with it. But they're starting to um, plate coins and platinum. You can find them on Ampex and kind of the more specialty sites. Is it uh? Uh, palladium also? Yeah. They, they're starting to plate coins with that, too. And I think that's even rarer yeah. than platinum. I don't have anything palladium. I have some platinum. Yeah. I thought I thought they were using palladium for, like, circuit boards and stuff. And then they're making it, using it for coins. For all I know, I mean, I mean, some people make a business out of getting all the gold out of computers and making the, the scrap bars. I've seen that, yeah. There's quite a few of them on YouTube that do that. Yeah. I think that's the cheapest way you can buy gold. Yeah. Jack does metal detecting too. Yeah. Oh, wow. If you have any videos, I'll have to check those out. When I try to get a silver ignite at the pawn shop, they want. What do What do you mean they wouldn't do it, Murray? Or they they didn't accept your price, or you try to sell a silver? Because oh. some sometimes with the necklaces, um, I mean, I work at a shop. Sometimes the silver weight is too low, and they won't take it. But um, if you're trying to buy it, I don't know what would have happened. I gotta hit the restroom. I'll be back. My worries. Yeah, let us know what you mean, Marie. <coughs> I'm not up to your messages yet. Um, so how long have you worked in the coin shop? Uh, for a really short time, about two months now. Oh, wow. It's been oh. pretty fun. Yeah, we call that a busman's holiday. Yeah, it's not long at all. That's where I got uh, the majority, uh, if not all of my foreigns there, uh, about 2,500. Wow. wow. The um the bags of 500 would sell for about $30, which is uh, a crazy good deal. So I had to go with it and uh, lots of really nice coins in the 1800s. That's, I mean, my entire UK collection is thanks to that shop. Wow. When I tried to pawn a silver necklace ingot, I have the pawn shop would not price it. They 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 wouldn't like the weight. I I wouldn't recommend a pawn shop if you're trying to sell silver and gold. I would try to find a jeweler that specializes in it or a coin shop that specializes in it. Pawn shops really only care for quick, easy, yeah. profitable sales. It's a good place to buy, but not to sell. Yeah. Have you still got it, Murray? Or did you end up getting rid of it? It's cool to have. I would I would want to keep it. I mean, 
it's just they wouldn't offer you a, a fair enough price for it too i i think you would be offended at whatever price they would have told you at the time they would have probably gave you under 15 dollars or something uh, comparable to that for it <laughs> it's just gotta, it's gotta make it just thirsty yeah i know which is why i wait until the bowl is completely oh yeah <laughs> there, there's um a bill that i really want because it's a, my hometown's old bank bill and it costs a thousand dollars and i'm i'm putting some of my wages towards building up to that and it sounds like my boss is going to try to give it to me for my birthday so i'm working really hard for it awesome that's, that's awesome hey match Brian's now away. It was a jeweler slash pawn shop. Yeah. So I still have it. I, I, would, I would definitely, I would definitely keep it. I mean, it would be worth a lot more as a gift to somebody or to keep it as an heirloom than it would ever be for the price that they would have gave you. I know you probably needed the money at the time, but it's going to be a lot better in your hands. Yeah. So, with some age on it and keep it in good shape will increase the value, right? Yeah, yeah. With that, the tonnage, like a, a lot of like when it seems with without the shop, when they're not always looking for the value of the silver. Sometimes they just like the look of it. So if it tones up a bit, you know, gets passed around in people's hands, and it gets that nice, beautiful purple gold look. Somebody's going to give you a lot for it, or uh, you know, it's worth oh. keeping. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I had a contagious moment. <laughs> I get that all the time. <laughs> now, I, the, the other morning when you were on, you are getting greased every time. Huh? <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> yeah, I, I know that I'm going to get some sleep before morning at, at some point today. So, yeah, you're gonna need to. Well, I've, I've, I've been on since uh, Pinky Stream last night. So, oh, and, um, yeah. yesterday night, I found it in a park 39 years ago when I was a kid. Wow! Wow! That's, that's really cool to me. Like, um, yeah. that if, that if is cool. Here, like, if you were ever actually trying to get rid of it somebody here would find a lot of interest in it. Like to me, just the fact that it's an old silver necklace makes it oh. worth way more than what the pawn shop was going to give to you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, metal that. detecting, finding a silver necklace would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's the thing. That, um, I definitely understand. I, I can't think of the name of the guys that um, what, a month and a half ago, two months ago, um, they post, posted uh, like six videos, one each day, for uh, metal detecting in England, a huge field. And they kept finding uh, sixteen and 1,700 coins in this English field. And... They went there, invited from America, and did all the permit stuff. And it's a huge field, and they're like, the hardest part about doing this is getting to the other side of the field, and then knowing you got to turn around and go back. <laughs> <laughs> it was an aqua chigger, was it? No, no. Uh, uh, well, I suppose I, I could him. go. I could go look it up, but um. Good morning, Ron. Good morning, Ron. Hey, that's that's the guy, Will. Yeah. Ron. I heard Ron, you got you... some Balboas. Silly yeah, was telling me all, all, all about him. Well, I told you as much as I knew about him. <laughs> What's it, Sheppy? The detector. I haven't heard of him or her. Should be him. Um, no, I, I can't. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go look for him. Yeah, I'll be back. Shep, Shep, not far from me and Jack. Ron's got a few. His brother went to Panama. 
Oh. That's cool. Like, I have one Panamanian silver coin, but um, a lot of the Balboas are pretty interesting. I want this and I was to bring back for state quarters. Keep an eye out because there's a lot of silver in those. Um, mm. they're, they're being found in half dollars uh, recently over here. Half dollar rolls. Massive dig on the island, Oh, the oh, 35 bucks of it was Balboa's. Wow. I think it's Abraham. Hmm. Oh my god, Abraham was in the game. I was just looking at him and I thought I've got to check these. might have something rare too. Are you sure you're not going to Yeah, there's a lot of old history around Sheppy, isn't there, Jack? You've got the old Dead Man's Island. Oh, look. I love how Tracy's just sitting. I've always heard of I've never actually seen it in person. She looks Ooh, uh, Jack them. makes a lot of um, sea glass jewellery yeah. and that kind of stuff. Oh, I guess so. Uh, Sheppy's in Kent, Marie. So if you're looking at a map, it's right down on the bottom right. Well, one of the guys, one of the guys. Oh, here we go, Will. Are there any dates for the Bill Bowers that Ron should be looking at? Uh, off the top of my head, I, I think it was pre-1970. But they could be all the way up to 1980, where a ton of them were silver. Um, the Panamanian that I have is early 1920s, and it was silver. But I would do a little more research on it um, just to be sure. I'm pretty new to the Panamanian coins. I only have like like 10 or so, but one of them was silver. So chances are you might have um, some silver with $35 worth. My well, mate was in jail. Yeah, they got three prisons on Sheppy Run. Yeah, um, oh, I'm trying to think the names off the top of my head. Um, there's Elmley, and there's the Open Prison, and then I think there's a Academy Bed Prison. I can't think what their names are, but there's, there's three on the island, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's cool, Marie. Yeah. I wouldn't have had a clue where it was. It's only that I'm in Kent now that I know it. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Ron saying there are loads of them with colour on. Um, yeah. Is there, is there any way he can send her picture to you, or? Yeah, Ron, if you send me a picture uh, via email or WhatsApp or something. Oh, smile side, that's the other one. Ron, if you send me a WhatsApp or an email picture, I can always show it on the screen then. Um, those guys I was talking about, Metal Tech Detecting England, was the Hoover Boys. The Hoover Boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I had to go find them because it was going to bother me. Okay, he's going to get me a picture and send it by email. Awesome. So, that'd be cool if some of them were silver. Well, maybe I don't want to get rid of them now. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't. I don't have a lot of information on the newer ones. Uh, everything I have, I think, is uh, pre nineteen seventy six. Right. So well, but, I don't know. The color is usually a good sign of tonage. So maybe. Right. right. Well, if I got a bunch of coins and then I was disappointed with them, and then I talked to somebody, and then they might be silver. Um, maybe I want to retract my. Uh, want to get rid of them. So. <laughs> Ooh, I, I would definitely look in at 66. Yeah. I'm going to pop into the other room and I'll pull my uh, silver pan mania and I'll be back. No problem. Right on. 
to, uh, and that's just crazy. We'll just say, uh, I'll get something to compare it to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would love to see him and Lapta sit down and just go over foreign coins. Yeah. That would be, that would be amazing. And Lapta said they had 140 countries. That's a, uh, that's incredible in itself. Yeah. And, and Will's got over 80, so. Wow. Be, between the two of them, that would, that would be impressive. It would. Because there's always strange about Yes. Oh, look, there's another straw. Yeah. Uh, right in the middle, there's a straw. Yes, there is. No, that's kind of. All right. Oh, that's oh, I, yeah, I get what you mean. Made out of one of the straw boys. Well, on its own, I, I haven't heard of any co uh, color like that. I mean, all of mine are pretty plain. Besides Balboa's, Panama has a Centesimos, uh, and there's a 1929 one right here. It's probably going to do it justice on it on here. But the silver one is 1907, and it's... Yeah, um, medio or uh, a half, half centesimo de Balboa. Wow. How many countries are Um, Last I knew, there was like 180. And that, that's been a couple of years since I looked that up. Here you go. Google says there's 195. Okay, so there's 15. <laughs> so between the you and laughter, maybe you guys got all the countries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I asked how he points, and he told me he hadn't put his in flips yet, and I was like, I must seem crazy to people with how many flips that I've got out now. <laughs> uh, how much have you spent on flips? Uh, I get a good deal at my shop. Like uh, in general, you see them on sale for around five or six dollars for a pack of a hundred. I get them for four dollars for a hundred. So, a uh, hundred times twenty-five times four. Let's see. I'm trying to do math. Right, a hundred. Four times twenty-five. Is that hundred? About yeah, about a hundred dollars in flips. <laughs> Am I doing that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I probably need to do math on the calculator, but I think it's around there. <laughs> well, you did. You didn't include any of your other coins. Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more than that. <laughs> yeah, I think at that shop. If I had to put an honest price of how much I spent, somewhere between six hundred and seven hundred dollars. But that's not that's not crazy, but it's not great. That's I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Will. I had to bring that up. Oh, you're good. Now I'm working there, so I get a discount. <laughs> Always good reason, uh, right? Find out what you spend the most on and try to work there. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, Jack says uh, a few of the countries will share share the same currency. Yeah, according to Google, there are 180 world currencies. There are 180 huh. current currencies across the world as recognized by the United Nations. I know. Centavos <laughs> is used uh, pretty broadly across the, wow. uh, at least like 20 or so countries. <laughs> Centesimos. Franks are used in Belgium and France. Yeah. Um, uh, was it Steve the other day that showed the, um, was it the, uh, was it uh, Nigeria with the Nile crocodile on it? No, that's was that? Oh, it, it was you. I'm sorry, Warren. 
It's um, oh. I think it was Gambia. Oh, Ga was was it Gambia? Uh -huh. It was. I'll bet it was Gambia. Yeah. yeah. And I I went and looked up the the guy's name and it's Sir something with A's and W's and I was going to attempt to ruin or disrespect attempting to say his I name. Seen it. Yeah, Gambia. It, okay. It's a huge. It's, it's a huge huh. crock. Yeah, that's awesome. I had never seen one yeah, until, but huh? No, and you know, um, you know, Matt that comes on late at night for us, eleven till ten, okay. eleven till twelve. Sorry, um, calling some more. Turn this side again. It's his name. Uh, CJ calling some more. He uh, he sent that one down to me. Right on. I can imagine poor John is gutted now that buses used mainly always the phone payment of car back in the days. Bus drivers would have a wealth of change to scale through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's a fact. <laughs> you, you know you're in the fun community when you question having jobs where you can look through a bunch of change, like being a waiter and getting a bunch of tips. <laughs> a, a, a cashier. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, wrong. Any fast food place, you know, there, there's a there's a kind of a dig joke over here. The American coin community. How how many thousand dollar coins have you spent on a dollar burger? <laughs> That's terrible to think about. In my lifetime, and I didn't, I didn't search for any type of collectible coin. Yeah, it does make you me think about. Oh, it's not going to focus properly, is it? All the change I would just throw at Coinstar without thinking about it. Well, yeah. We're going to move out your kids. <laughs> Our kids. What is that? I can't see it. Yeah, it's not very well on it. Oh, but my camera's well. The phone screen is just small. What is that? Huh? That's not an image I've. I've seen on a coin kind before. Of these are some of, like a type um, of presidential coin. These are some of the Panama coins that um, Ron has just sent me pictures of. Oh, huh? Oh, I've never oh, seen, I see like that. that no. So that's what they're doing nowadays with them. That is cool. Especially the, the one with the blue. That was really really awesome. Um, he sent me loads of them, so I'll just try and... Hey, hey here. I'll, I'll give you a screenshot of every one of them. <laughs> just give me a second. I'll go and get me tablet, because they come up better on there. Right on. 2016 and 2019, those are awesome. Can't wait to see what they'll do with uh, coins in 2100. What do, uh, and I don't know that I've ever asked you this, Will. What do you think about them ending American pennies on April Fool's Day next year? You think that's a real story? It would be kind of funny. Uh, that that's I googled I googled uh, um, America ending uh, penny production and there's an article that says 2020 April first um, pennies will stop being produced. Uh, now, while it could it could just be an April Fool's prank, what I've noticed with a lot of countries, what happens is they'll switch from copper and then they'll go to zinc and then they'll phase out the penny. 
and that's right. what we're doing right now because the zinc yeah. pennies i don't um i mean around here some of them don't even last a month let alone a week that article was written in 2018 so they write that article two years in advance of an april fool's joke and it's released from the mint I mean, just this year when they when they had the West Point coins for the penny and the quarters, it made a boom in collecting. So right. I don't think they would mess with something like that because there's still more money they could get out of it. Right. But you know, I've I've been saying the the pennies have been a a thorn in my side for a lot of years. If they could switch back to copper, I'd be happy. Well, yeah. But it, then you'd have all the people unhappy about the new uh, influx of digging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it would be kind of difficult. But, I mean, it could provide jobs from in copper mines. and. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, all, for, I'm all for um, putting people to work and getting us back to what we used to be. Those are nice too. Um, I would I would look for the older dates in those and and match and make sure you check online with the silver dates and make sure that none of those are silver. But those are the type that I have. I, um, if anything, I think the ones with the color are cooler in some aspects. But those all seem to be like perfectly almost uncirculated AU, perfect awesome coins. We go back to the color ones. And he was saying that he didn't want them, so I thought about Will. Oh. Well, Color ones are awesome. I've never seen anything like that on a coin. <sighs> yep, right there. I can see it. Those are beautiful. Yeah. I like how it's a different little aspect on all of them too. Yeah. Like the blue, on, the blue on that is so that, attractive. Yeah. The, it would stand out so easy. I was gonna say, is that like day glow? That that <laughs> light, that light blue really glows on this phone. It's like a teal or something like that. Right. Got some normal ones down there. <laughs> Now, if you ever find paint or color on our coins, um, let's say quarters, for example, a lot of times um, you'll see red, white, and blue quarters, and people will paint them just for fun and stick them back in circulation. But there's an old saying that they would use them at Alcoholic Anonymous meetings where they would have a painted quarter, and they would put it in their, uh, put it in their mouth, and if they got the paint off, then they could use that quarter for a drink of alcohol or something like that. But I don't know about you, but I'm not sticking paint in my mouth. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Man, that's just cool. So fine. I wonder how long it, um, it could really stay on them. Seeing those faded would be pretty interesting. I'm young again, folks. I know. Don't you love it how they pop in like that? Oh, well, that's a lot that you've got there, Will. Uh, Ron? Offer credit. <laughs> I, I, I love the final sentence, the final description Jack gives. <laughs> read, read that one. That's, that's, the, that's most of my collection, Jack. It was uh, post-1943. <laughs> In the UK, pre-1920, it was full of silver coins and pre-43 parts silver. I just told you three years, just crap metals. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> uh, let me get that one back. <laughs> Maybe not most. Got a lot of 1900. Jack has a way with words. <laughs> Is it that one you went from? That's the harbor. Huh. I mean, they're all cool, and it's and it's right. Like, uh, as a collection, it's really awesome too. Yeah, definitely. We have Braylon, the only I, guy in the house. Uh -huh. We have Braylon, the only guy. I think they're cool. Yeah. yeah. I I I would be hard pressed to get rid of them. 
Just because oh, I don't have them. Yes, sir. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Uh, it's an awesome collection. Yeah. And that was your brother bought them back, was it? Very From sad. Panama. I'm, I'm thinking that's what he said yesterday. I'm thinking we should sign a plot to make a cemetery. Um, That's a good brother you've got there. UK coins, the raising coins. Yeah, they are really cool. All right, okay. All right. I don't want, I need to put them down on my health. Can I pick them up if I put them down? I don't know. I better take it home and do it. Jack, do you do poetry? <laughs> she does everything else, mate. I'm, I'm. I'm waiting, waiting to be more impressed. Yeah, you went to Panama. <coughs> and I wanted some rolls for the state quarters. And I paid for them. He just picked them up. Awesome. So they're obviously all them coloured ones that are on. They're obviously not hard to get hold of now, then. He just went there and picked them up. That's really cool. Loads of uncirculated one dollar bills to trade as well. <laughs> I got one sent to me yesterday by Lou, a dollar bill. What what kind of fans are you looking for, Ron? Oh, you've got eighty bucks and quarter rolls to go through. Awesome. So what sort of things are you looking to trade, Ron? That was the 1980s one pound. Oh, wow. Uh, we haven't had them for many, many years. But then that's, that's an older one. 1970s. That's beautiful. He just wanted to start his state quarters. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. now, so now he's got a bunch of them that aren't state quarters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now, now I think I'm understanding. I don't really care about these Panama coins <laughs> unless they're silver. I can't have loads of them for face value plus shipping. Oh, but you can, sorry, but you can have them for face value plus shipping. And, and are all quarters? Or? Yeah, you find them in the quarter rolls, the, the Balboas, and the half, half dollar ones, you find the full Balboas. If I think if I have that right. So how how nice were the quarters that he got? Yeah, I wonder that. I did. <laughs> we're all really nice. So I would I would hope we're just as yeah, nice. I I'm there. Wow, if, if that's how nice the can uh, Panamanian ones are, I want I. The, the quarters ought to be really, really shiny. Oh, right there. Oh, you, so you have got loads of state and park quarters already then, Ron? Well, if you need any specific ones, uh, let us know what to look out for, and we'll we'll save them for you. I I showed a. Uh, 38 out of 40 roll yesterday on Warren stream with Steve. Yeah. I dumped, I dumped out a roll on the table right next to me and just started showing. And I ended up with two Eagle backs and the rest were all state and park quarters, not in immaculate condition, but not, not junk either. 
and it, and that's just what I can get here in town. Well, I'm about Hi, JD's. JD is here. Yeah, JD slots and gambling just got back. Right on. Um, I don't even know what I was doing there. I need to go through them. Well, Ron, you know a guy to talk to. <laughs> Certainly do now. Will, you know who to talk to about some Panamanian? <laughs> <laughs> some Balboas. Yeah, I learned so, something new. Right? I, I never seen those. Uh, when I was in Panama, I was uh, 20... Oh, wait, 30... <laughs> Uh, 31 years ago. Nice one, JD. I'll watch that later. That's oh, that ain't right. right. 21 years ago. Yeah. As he said, what if you want these, you can have them for face value plus shipping. Awesome. Um, well, what's face value of a pan? I wouldn't know that off the top of my head. I, I would assume. Are, are they all quarters? Are they? Are they? Are they, are they twenty cent? Um, I would assume. And 20, the, the reason the the reason I ask you, you know, because the UK doesn't have a quarter. They have a 20. Yeah, we've got 20 pounds. And a 50. Well, if he was getting the rolls of quarters, I don't, I don't know if he was attributing it to that or if it was the actual attributed face value. I don't know. I would, I would have to right. look into it. They're all quarters, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Okay. I, I'm just... I'm just... Got questions that... Uh, that what the heck right. happened? Oh, I hate this thing. Yes, we have oh, wow. one, two, please. And five. Is that... I need to find me one of those sheets. That's <laughs> awesome. I, I think I got I think I got one or two coming. Um and down to twenty P's, fifty P's. I've just sent one similar to this to, I can say, because they're not here, to Pinky and the Brain, but similar to this one. Awesome. I'll appreciate that. Good morning, Steve mm -hmm. Fraser. Morning, Steve. I don't really know what coins to buy next. I like the old ones. I like a lot of the crowns, uh, JD. Um, it depends, again, if you're staying with English coins or... Um, you know, if you want to go foreign coins, I mean, there's just so many out there to choose from, isn't there? Where am I at? Um, sorry, it was just here. It was sorry, I don't know what coins to buy next. I like the old ones, I do too. Thirty-five bucks to come out about twenty-seven English pound. Yeah, when I did the coin roll the other night with um, Pinky, I think it was eight pound one in the UK it was ten dollars. Um, God, yeah, there's just so many old English coins as well, isn't there? Um, oh, Steve the Wheat Scent Slayer is here. <laughs> um, JD, I'd say we, I've, I've just been talking on WhatsApp about it with Louise. Um, and I'd say get yourself one of the books. Um, Spink Coins is the one that does the UK coins and it goes right the way back what did you say? right the way back to medieval time coins in there um, so get yourself one of the books 
that will give you an idea of the sort of coins that you can be, you know, getting next. Sweet. That will be cool, Steve. Yeah, that... Uh, those are nice points. I'm just... Mm, it's going to be hard to go after coins that... Uh, uh, no, no, no limits. I got to think of it right. No limits. Yeah. Don't limit myself to just one country. One becomes two, two becomes four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And four becomes a floor. Yeah. Uh, uh, pretty soon it's a ton of weight. How much do you think all your coins weigh, Will? Oh. <laughs> Last I saw, uh, Pinky weighs pennies was 169.8 pounds. I and think I, somewhere between 8 to 10 oh, for my foreigns, uh, maybe more than that, maybe like 12 to 15 pounds for foreigns, and then under 5 for everything else. I don't know. Not too much. Uh, that was that was just That's Pinky's awesome. coppers. That was yeah. just Pinky's coppers. Um, I love that. Blue, blue and gold. Um, Like my background is... Uh, from the Ukraine, and that's that's our flag colors right there. That perfect blue and the gold would be for wheat fields. I mean, that's an excellent combination of colors. I take it that's the reverse of it. Huh. Wow. That is the history that goes into them is. Yeah, that's an awesome. I'm, I'm curious point. about that. That's that beautiful. That is. Um, oceans, yes, only card payments, no points or um, no points vouchers or um, what's the other one? Bank to bank transfers, just card only. Um, and that's purely because it works out that on Ian's valuation, it works. He got out that from a KFC. <laughs> that last <laughs> coin he got and changed from a KFC. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, it works out that he's losing 200 quid on his valuation, so that's why he's doing it um, card only payments on that one. Yeah. But you're getting a good, and also, I don't know whether he's actually stated it on the website, but he's all, as a sweetener, he's also th throwing in a Gruffalo that's been stamped with COA as well. Yeah, um, uh, Ron says KFC in Panama. Yeah, uh, KFC is worldwide, just like McDonald's and Burger yeah. King and Taco Bell and da da da, da. yeah. <laughs> and Jack, was it you that asked for the A to Z raffle yesterday? <laughs> Um, that's now up as well. I didn't really like any of the colors. Uh, it's 2018, I just said, which includes a mystery letter as well. Are you going to put them like the hedge gate? <laughs> I was thinking about it. Or the arch one? Or the... Taco Bells isn't worldwide yet. I think we've got one in the UK and it's a mission away from me. <laughs> Is that right? I I know they're huge. I know they're huge, popular in Asia. Crazy. And I know you're a long way from Asia, but <laughs> I I don't eat Taco Bell. I, Taco Bell? Yeah, should be, you got to be careful because this is watershed time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Get them in trouble because you swore in the background. <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm getting loads. Oh, emails and messages and. Is 
It's two um, o'clock in the morning for me. I would eat Taco Bell. I'm not sure about you, silly. Nope. You don't want wood chips? Uh, any, any, nope. Any time we go into the restroom, there's never enough TP anyway. I don't go to a Taco Bell for the restaurants. <laughs> right after you got to have one after you eat it. No, nah, I'm not staying there. <laughs> I'm, going home to, I'm going home with my shame of my uh, 12 taco box. All right. <laughs> Wipe out 12 tacos in a sitting. <laughs> no, I'm, no. With the hottest of hot sauces. Well, I, I will say that their fire sauce and their extreme is is pretty good. It's kind of sweet. Sauce, but... I think that's what gets them, that's what gets them to sell it. But um, I don't. I don't want any other food. I don't eat fast food anyway. So, oh, I, I just back on that. I don't drink soda anymore, and that was a big step. Uh, like four years ago, I drink it all the time, but I don't. I haven't drank it in four years or something like that. It sounds like a alcoholic anonymous. <laughs> it's soda anonymous. <laughs> yeah. Soda anonymous. Well, I'll, I'll take all your extra. Um. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing a Dr. Pepper shirt, so. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, wow. What's that? That's the so, silver that silver, isn't it? Yeah, that's the silver ingot. Was it Marie that was talking about earlier on? That's the silver ingot uh, she found. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. Like, I, I love, like, you could just tell the craftsmanship that went into that. It wasn't yeah. just some mold that somebody, I mean, it was, it took some time. Definitely. Yeah, and w whatever shop tried to say they weren't yeah. interested, I'll just give you a little bit. No way, they were trying to get away with a deal. I, I would try to find out the, the weight on that, because it, it looked like it had some weight to it, at least um, close to an ounce, if not yeah. three quarters. There's got to be a stamp somewhere that's a uh, 999925. Uh, she said... Uh, she said uh, um, about 40 years ago there might not be because I don't know even 30 years but prior they, it was on everything my my silver rings when I was a kid all all had stamps inside them so I I don't know I'm just yeah. I'm just I'm just putting it out there that maybe there is I don't know I I know my old uh, silver chains on the, right next to the class. Um, it was stamped as well. Nine two five. Now that I think about it, the bracelets as well. Yep. Oh, here we go. Uh, the stamps on the front, I'd have to find it and weigh it. So there are stamps on the front of it. That's 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 interesting because with that stamp, I mean, you you would have a lot of information to find out the origin of it. Yeah, uh, there should if if it's stamped, it's probably got initials on it or or a name on it from a manufacturer. Oh, that's interesting. That is really really cool. It's it's really intricate. Yeah, and Very and the scroll the scroll work on the side is really neat. Yeah. I know it might That's be awesome. just a mold, but that is really cool. Yeah, that is nice. I mean, to, I mean, to find a mold with that fine of lines that wouldn't just fill those in with excess. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. It's like um, if they, if that, if that's a car, if that's a car, that's amazing. If it's a press stamped, that's. That's still amazing. The store wouldn't explain the stamp marks without me paying for valuation. One out of five star place right there. Yeah. yeah I, I would search it more. I feel like you're going to find a really interesting story with that. Yeah. Uh, how old yeah. Was it, uh, 40 uh, years, was it 40 years ago you said you found that? 39, I think she said. Wow. But if, if, nobody's going to call you a liar for a year. No way. 
that's a, that's nice you just find that or, yeah. and hang on to it for 39 40 years heck yeah that that's increased in value there's no way it went down Well, we'll what's this he's got here? A one crown Gibraltar numismatic production arms of Gibraltar with key dividing date and legend around low mintage. Oh, I see. This is what he's just put a bid in on eBay. A farthing? Eight, 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 wow. Yeah. wow. William V. It's a beautiful Marie. You can look at stamp mark. Yeah, you can always find the stamp mark. On one. Yeah, 39 years ago. Wow. That, that's... All that story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it might take a little bit of digging, but it might be right out of right at the tip of your fingertips so they wouldn't buy it but who knows it could be worth a lot more than we currently think if, if somebody wouldn't buy that if, uh, if it, came in, it came in my shop we would have bought that <laughs> if not for the weight it just for the oh how old was that did you say oh okay okay yeah. right i'm just gonna end this stream steve phrases just set up a new one so I'm going to get off and get dressed and sort my stuff out. And Steve okay. started a fresh stream. Thank, thank you, Warren. Not a problem, buddy. Not a problem. But, uh, so thank I will you. see you all soon. And Steve Rose has got a new stream up and running if you want to join him. Yeah, well, I'm going to jump over there for a little while for sure. Brilliant. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. See everybody in a yeah. minute.